Charles Cross, the number nine pick out of Mississippi State, stands at 6'5", 310 pounds. And when I watch film on this young man, I see a guy who is in complete control of what he's doing. His body's in great position at all times, plays with a great base, and has really good hands. He's not going to maul you or drive you to the ground, even though I know he has that in him. But he's a composed, patient, relaxed type football player. And I love that about him. He's smart as well. When playing against stunts, he'll let that stunt go away from him, wait for the tackle or the linebacker to wrap back around. If that doesn't happen, his eyes get to the second level right now looking for the blitz. Again, showing composure and showing that he knows this game. The one question you can have about him is, can he run block? Believe it or not, they did run the football a little bit at Mississippi State, just not as much as we expect the Seahawks to run the football. I think these coaches look at the film, the attributes of what Charles brings to the table and say, we can coach that, we can coach talent. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. There will be an adjustment, obviously, but that's why you have guys like Andy Dickerson to coach this young man along. I like what Charles Cross is bringing to the team. I expect him to start at left tackle to start the season. Abe Lucas, the right tackle out of Washington State, stands at 6'7", 310 pounds. The dude ran a 4'9 at the NFL Combine. If you're moving that fast at that size, you know that you're dealing with an athlete. He also was a hooper in high school, so that helps as well. Now, when we put on the film of Abe Lucas, this is the nasty guy. This is the guy who's going to finish his blocks, who's going to drive you to the ground. And once he has you in his grasp, he is not letting go. I love the attitude that he brings to the football field. Also, durability, four-year starter over there at Washington State, hardly missed any games. You know that he's going to be there. We look at the Seahawks' offensive line. There's been some shuffling going on over the past few years because of injury. We're hoping that doesn't happen with Abe at that right tackle spot. The last two seasons at Washington State, he only allowed one sack. So that means when it comes to pass pro, he's pretty good at it. What about the run blocking? That's the question, right? Can he run block? I think he can. I think it's the same situation with Charles Cross. You look at their ability, you look at the way they move, you look at how they finish their blocks, and then you insert them into this offense. You got to coach these guys up, but it looks good.